All right, everybody. We always start with a clap. And an all right, everybody. Yeah, something, all right. something like that. Okay, so what we have tonight, it looks like there's a lot going on here. And but, there is. Yeah, there is. <laughs> um, but what we're really talking about tonight is a product review, and unfortunately for that product, a comparison of whiskey sours. Yeah, the product is trying to mimic essentially. The thing about whiskey sours though is whiskey sours is our thing. We are really good at making whiskey sours. And we love whiskey yes. sours. So when I stumbled upon Black Fly's whiskey sour in a can, 7% alcohol. 7% alcohol. A I knew it was going to be a bad bad experience. But I also thought, hey, let's see just how bad when it goes up against our famous yeah. Whiskey sour. Super famous. Yeah. And can I say one other thing about whiskey sours? You can. The one other thing I'd like to say about whiskey sours is that um, I've been to a lot of restaurants, mm. a lot of so-called bars that have tried to make a whiskey sour. They have a whiskey sour on the menu. Yeah. And time and time again, I'm sorely disappointed by lemonade mixed with bourbon or yeah. some kind of pre-mixed powdered bullshit. Like a vodka slime or whatever. A vodka slime that. with yeah. with whiskey, with in, whiskey it. in it. The whiskey sour, in my personal opinion, is the t it it's a labor of love. If you don't put that time and effort in, you will get a subpar product. Yes. You need the fresh squeezed lemons. Which this is the juice of six lemons. You need the Simple syrup, which is half sugar, half water, which we actually just mixed into this to make it a little uh, simpler of a process. And I will say simple syrup is is not the same as just putting sugar cubes into a drink and hoping that they're going to, you know, mix uh, and melt together perfectly. In, yeah, yeah it, it doesn't happen that way. You've got to put the time in to make your own proper simple syrup. You've got to squeeze fresh lemons. You can't get that imitation lemon juice. Doesn't you work. You can't use country time freaking powder. You can't use like frozen lemonade juice or anything no, like, like that. You've you got to do it legitimately. you got to do it properly. you got to have bitters. We cheated a little bit by buying a jug of simp simply egg whites, but it actually works really, really well. It works better because you end up with this sloppy goop of, um, yeah, yeah, of yeah. egg whites. So this, this is easier. And then you just got, you know, whatever your bourbon of choice is. We just have a simple Jim Beam, but... What we're going to do is we're going to battle that against Black Fly's Whiskey Sour 7%. Black nothing, Fly, make, nothing makes you want to drink something more than having a beverage called Black Fly. Black Fly. Sounds um, just delicious. They have a, quite a lineup from what I've seen at the liquor store of um, awesome. <clears throat> kind of Kool-Aid looking beverages. So uh, that was a bit frightening to begin with. but Whiskey mi mixed drink. Okay, so why don't you mix in the our okay. whiskey sour <coughs> sure. and you, just talk you pour the people, that one and I'll talk do the this. through it a little bit. So basically what you do, we have our ice in here already. What I like to do is I pour my in this case, so two ounces per person, so we'll do four ounces of bourbon here. Uh, you can use any type of bur bourbon you like. Um, for this for this uh, review or whatever you want to call it, we'll just do regular old Jim Beam. But obviously the higher quality of bourbon that you use the higher quality of a drink you're going to get. There's only one place I've ever been that actually makes a really, really... Two places mm. that makes a really, really good whiskey sour. One being in Victoria. Ferris's Oyster Bar. Yeah, yeah. and one being in Duncan, uh, which House. is the Firehouse Wine Bar. Amazing cocktails there. Anyways, so the four ounces of uh, the bourbon, and then we got our kind of pre-mixed lemon juice and simple syrup. Same kind of proportions. Um, we'll do approximately four ounces of each. Two ounces of each, four ounces all together. That's going to do the trick there. We also put a, just a dash of the egg whites in here. Just to froth it up. Just and to make froth it, it up. Foamy and thick. Um, Which and then does not have in it. That has no thickness, that looks. I mean, I haven't tried this stuff yet the pre-made stuff, a couple dashes of bitters, but that pre-made stuff already just by looking at it does not look very legit. Where's the lid? Here we go. Okay, shake it up. I'm kind of excited by how badly 
all of this pea sour is going to destroy the rest of this pea sour. You already know. Yeah. It's simple once you got the ingredients down, but you just have to good, have good quality ingredients. And it's not like I'm that, you know, opposed to there being a whiskey sour drink out there. It's that, like, it's not like I'd be offended if it was better than ours. I wish it was better than ours. Because yeah. ours takes a lot of work. Yeah. Squeezing six lemons or however many you're going to use is just very time consuming. So let's look at the color difference, which well, is interesting. Hold well, on, we gotta add our oh, okay, yeah. the final the touch. Signature. Just the boom. Boom. A little bitters on top. Yeah. Let's look at a color comparison. This is out of the can. That's that's definitely uh, an antifreeze green. And then the real whiskey sour. When you add a little bit of bitters in there, it almost has a pinkish hue to it there. Mm -hmm. But definitely more on that yellow side than the uh, antifreeze green. Okay, so should we give theirs a shot first? Do you know what? I'm gonna. Here's what you should do. I'm gonna blindfold myself, and you give me the whatever one you want, and I'll tell you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> this is not gonna be hard. One's gonna taste like lemons, and one's gonna taste like weird juice. Okay, that's ours. Yeah. <laughs> And then, oh, oh, there you go. I guess I don't need to close my eyes. Yeah, that's, that's the other one. Tell me what you're experiencing cool. with that one. <laughs> one thing I will say on their behalf, they do have whiskey in the ingredients. We've seen in the past where some kind of whiskey cocktail, it says uh, vodka beverage, where it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. okay, contains no whiskey. Well, that's some bullshit. At least this one has whiskey in it, but tell us how bad it is. Uh, this, I've had it. Okay, this my first impression of this. My first like sour face, not because it's sour from the the whiskey sour. No. It's sour because it tastes like tastes like cleaning agent. Like what do you call that stuff? Not pine salt, but like lemon cleaning mm -hmm. detergent. Ugh. So I. It's very floral and fragrant and um, like dish soap. Dish soap, um, yeah. Dish like soap, some, like lemon pledge, uh, yeah. any of those, any of those cleaners that have lemon in it has it's a kinda, lot of fake lemon. If you ever wondered what like pledge tastes like, it's probably this. I, uh, it's kind of like that citronella candles too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit waxy Ooh. with a bit of perfume. I'm going to tell you right now, we have about a half a can left of this. It's going down the drain. <laughs> I'm going to say, and that's exactly the point. I bought two of these when I found them at the liquor store. I thought, I'm going to drink one, and I'm going to bring one back to review it with you. And I don't think, or maybe only a few times in my life, have I poured like a, a majority yeah. of a can of something down the drain. I poured this down the drain, and I'll do it again tonight. <laughs> like, it's uh, So I guess what we're trying to say is, if you are going to go out there and you're going to buy... The Black Fly Whiskey Sour, maybe think twice because, and we're not trying to be snobby by, you know, making an actual good whiskey sour, <laughs> but this is not a product you want to ingest, I don't think. This actually does taste like cleaner. Oh, that's so good. Our whiskey sour is so good. We have a cocktail episode on how to make a whiskey sour. If you are a whiskey sour fan, just go and check that video out. Try our recipe. You will appreciate it. It actually tastes like bourbon. There's no whiskey taste in this whatsoever. It's just shit. It's garbage. It's awful. And I I, I just have to point if, something if, out here on the can. Yeah. It says, real lime juice, not too sweet, Canadian. That makes me not happy. No, it's, it's a like Canadian my one, product. It's a unproud moment to be a Canadian. Also, it says no gluten. <laughs> well, here's a problem. Let's let's start with the fact that a whiskey sour is made with lemons. Yeah, what's this say? Lime. Yes, real lime juice. your first yeah. fucking problem. Yeah, there's your problem. And a good whiskey sour is made with bourbon, not Canadian whiskey. Yeah, this is a this is a a, a train wreck in a can. It's awful. It's um, it's terrible. <laughs> it's a, it's just whatever ex expletive you can kind of. Figure out it's garbage, yeah, hot garbage. But people are gonna drink this. Young people that are easily influenced, and they're gonna go. That's what a whiskey sour tastes like. like. Oh, it's seven percent. 
Do you know what? It's, it's a canker sore in a can. Yeah. Okay, I think we've trashed that enough. <laughs> it's awful. It's not good. We do not recommend it. Um, go out. There it is. Go out, get yourself the proper ingredients, and make yourself a real whiskey sour. You gotta, you know, boil the water and the, the sugar together to make your simple syrup. Squeeze those Squeeze lemons. all those lemons. Get some good bitters. You can get... The Agostura bitters is the, the type that you find almost anywhere, but you can get specialty bitters made by different distillers. Uh, there's like a walnut flavored one out there. There's tons of different flavors. Anyways, that works. That does the trick. Uh... It's quality ingredients. Yeah. Take the time. It's so worth it. Yeah. Okay. Enough of us preaching on our high horse about... Uh, so cheers to sours. our whiskey sours. To our whiskey <laughs> sours and dumping this shit down the drain. <laughs> cheers. Tranny and sea.